So I have this one slide here, and I'm going to do a presentation on artificial intelligence. So I have this nice little title here, and I'm just going to just type inside this text box, and I'm just going to say intro to artificial intelligence. And you'll see it's just going to come right in after one click and some typing, and I'll just say here, how, what, and why. Very good. Now, this is just one slide of what is going to be many. This is just my title slide. So what I'd like to do is add on additional slides to this. So what I'm gonna do is go over to here, staying in my home tab, and you're gonna see that there's this icon here that says new slide. Now, this icon, believe it or not, is actually broken up into two icons. One is a little drop down, and then one is just one icon here. If you click on this icon, it's gonna do one particular slide layout, where I choose this new slide, it's gonna give me several different layouts to choose from. We're gonna get deeper into layouts in future lessons, but essentially layouts are just preset templates that have placeholders for different types of content, just depending on what that slide is going to entail. So what I'm gonna do now is just choose section header. I do that, and now a new slide now appears with some placeholders. I'm going to choose new slide again as the dropdown. I'm gonna choose title and content. I'm gonna choose new slide one more time. And I want you to notice that as I hover my mouse over it, it's telling me what it does, and it's also giving me the keyboard shortcut combination of Control M, a really good one to remember. I click on that now, and now let's choose two content. Let's go back to new slide dropdown one more time. This time I'm gonna choose blank. Now what I'm gonna do for this next part is I'm gonna choose the icon so you can see what it's going to do. I click on that, and now that, all it does is repeat the last slide layout that I did. Let's go ahead and do another example. I click on new slide dropdown. I'm gonna choose title and content. Notice here it is, title and content. And at this time, I'm just gonna choose the icon. And now you're gonna see I'm gonna get title and content one more time. So you'll kind of see what that does. So again, let's go ahead and put in some new content. Let's come over to here to slide number two. What is? artificial intelligence. Come down to slide number three, AI tools and platforms. Fantastic. Now, you will see that each individual layout has different formatting depending if it's the title or if it's the body content. And of course, you'll also start to notice that the designer pane will give you different options to choose from. We'll get a little bit deeper in that. In future lessons, we can see how we can change not only the formatting, but the colors, the fonts, and other design elements. Now, in the interest of time, so you don't have to type out all this different content, I've created a generic PowerPoint deck for us to start from. So it's going to look like this. What we're gonna see here, we have all the content filled out. Now, all of this content here is unformatted. You'll see that the background, the themes, the design, has no design whatsoever, but we do have a lot of content to work with. Now I've done this intentionally, so number one, you can save some time, but also for a lot of us, when we're creating PowerPoint decks, we're essentially using PowerPoint in the beginning as just an outlining tool, where we're gonna put all of our thoughts together, we're gonna have it organized, maybe just by title and by bullets, and then we're gonna make it look pretty and presentable. In the meantime, pause the video, practice creating a new slide deck from scratch, putting in a little bit of content, maybe creating your own PowerPoint deck, and then come back and we'll start working off this intro to artificial intelligence raw content file and start to make it look pretty and presentable. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.